Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, which means it is weigh-in and meeting topic day. Let's get right into that weigh-in. Honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect. It's been a rough couple weeks with eating out, being out, being on the run, being stressed, but I did pretty good. I lost 0.4. Not the greatest, but it's not a gain. And you know, once again, we had a weekend of eating meals out, a weekend of on the go. So I am really happy with that. I feel I've really been making great choices with all of the restaurant meals we've had to have over the last couple of weeks with moving the boys to school and just enjoying summer and doing things. I just feel like I've made great choices. So I'm really happy about that. Um, not really much else to say. Um, I would like to see a little bit, a couple bigger losses just to get where I want to be. But as of right now, I'm pretty happy with that. So if I can just maintain the rest of the summer and do what I'm doing and then really hit the ground running come fall and get these last like five, six pounds off that I want gone, I'll feel like I've been really successful. So that's my plan. Um, just keep on going and keep making the best choices I can. Let's get on to the meeting topic. It is, if you remember, they're doing the Building Confidence series. This is number three, I think. I think it's week three in the Build Confidence series. And today they're talking about heading to the scale and how the scale can make us all anxious, all nervous, and all worried. And yeah, it can. Um... When I originally started my journey, I was excited to get on the scale just because the weight was just coming off so fast and so easy. Now it's a little more trepidatious. Um, you know, I sometimes I just never know with all the issues I'm having with hormones and some other things going on with me that we'll discuss in another video. I'm always a little nervous, but I still do it because it's still there, whether you get on the scale or not. I mean, you can totally avoid the scale, but if I avoid the scale, I'm gonna eat more because, well, you know what? I don't have to weigh in this week. It's okay if I have a few extra treats or things like that, and that's the attitude I get. So no matter what, I have to face that scale every single week. I am not a daily weigher. I do not weigh daily. Um, I do only weigh once a week because that's what works for me. But if you're a daily weigher and that's what works for you, that's fine too. So they're talking about making an action plan if you're nervous about heading to the scale each week. You need to have some confidence and how they say is to come up with a plan. They said, think about what will go into your plan. When, where, and how often you will weigh yourself. So if you weigh yourself at a meeting, if you weigh yourself at home, if you weigh yourself, um, you know, I have a friend who works for a doctor. She weighs herself on the scale at the doctor's office every week. Come up with a plan and that's what you need to stick to because every scale is different. Um, I had a doctor's appointment, their scale, and it's so funny because the girl knows, um, the, the medical assistant who I always have, She's also a Weight Watcher, and she's like, you know, the scale weighs five pounds heavy, right? I'm like, yeah, I know. She goes, so we're taking off whatever it says. We're taking five pounds off whatever it says. She goes, because I know you, and I know you, you know, you weigh in every week, and I know you're good, she said, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay. Um, and she's right. It's exactly five pounds heavier than my scale at home and the scale at Weight Watchers. Well, it used to be the scale at Weight Watchers. I haven't been to a meeting in a while. So that's the first thing. Number two, how will you boost your confidence before getting on the scale? Give yourself a pep talk. If you know you had a great week, tell yourself that I had a great week. Sometimes the scale may not reflect the great week I had and that's okay. I know I had a great week. Or before you get on the scale, say, look, I know I was over my points every day. I am not expecting much. It's okay. I have a plan for next week. I'm gonna stay within my points. I'm going to eat good, healthy, whole foods. I'm not gonna eat a lot of junk. I'm not gonna eat a lot of processed. I have a plan. So no matter what the scale says, I know I can combat 
whatever the result is. So kind of formulate a little plan in your head. Let yourself know that whatever that scale says, it's not going to define you. Number three, what will you say to yourself when entering your weight in the Weight Watchers or whatever it is app that you use? Tell yourself, this is just a log. This is just a snapshot in time. Look at the overall picture. You know, I look at my graph and it's like this. And that's what it does. It's never going to be a steady line down. There's always going to be that bump in the road and you can't let that bother you. Remind yourself, it is a snapshot in time. Then it's a dog walker. Sorry about that. There's a lady with two cute little dachshunds that walks her dogs every morning right past my house and Aria freaks out. Totally forgot about it this morning. Where were we? Oh, the last thing is what will you do after weighing yourself? Will you beat yourself up because it wasn't what you wanted to see? Will you go on a binge because you figure you screwed up anyway? Why not just do it? You can't do that. What you do after you weigh yourself is going to set the tone for your whole week. After you weigh yourself, if you're happy with it, great. Don't reward yourself with food. If you're not happy with it, it happens. Don't beat yourself up with food. Figure out what to do. Maybe have a nice glass of water, take a walk, or just write in your journal. Write how you're feeling. Write, you know, what you could do better, what you did do better. Come up with a plan and stick to it. Just don't fall back on food. So then they want you to assemble a plan. They want you to kind of answer questions. The, what they just said. And you can write it down if you have to. I will make, weigh myself on whatever, at whatever. Before I step on the scale, I will. I'll say blank before I enter it into the app. And after I weigh myself, I will blank. So that is your plan. Like, if you are struggling with the scale, if you don't want to get on the scale, if you fight with the scale, come up with this plan. Uh, it doesn't have to be this one. It can be any plan that works for you. But avoiding the scale is not the answer. Because, well, at least it's not for me. And it's probably not for a lot of people. The more you avoid the scale, the easier it is to bury our head in the sand and not realize what's happening. You know, if we're gaining a little bit of weight here and there, if we're gaining a pound or two, we can combat that. It's when this keeps snowballing and we're gaining five, 10, 15, 20. Before you know it, you're 30 pounds back on. You need to just keep stepping on that scale. That, And I know the scale does not define us. It is not the end all beat all because you know we should measure our inches. We should look at our clothing, the way it's fitting. We should look and see how we're feeling. But a tangible way is that scale, whether we like it or not. That is a tangible way to measure our successes and our things that need work. So, don't be afraid of the scale. Get on there, face it. You just have to face it. You might be shocked in a good way. You might be shocked in a bad way. And I'm going to tell you in February of 2018, when I stepped on that scale at Weight Watchers, I was 198.2 pounds. I never would have thought that. I was thinking I was about 180, 185. I never thought I was that close to 200 pounds. I didn't. So it was a shock, but it was kind of a good shock because it, it put me like, holy crap, what am I doing? What have I been doing? So sometimes we need that. Sometimes it can't be all, you know, butterflies and roses. It needs to be a hard reality. And for some of us, that hard reality is facing that scale. So whatever it is you need to do to get on that scale each week, or if you like to weigh each day, come up with a plan and just do it. In the long run, it'll definitely benefit you. So 
they pretty much go on in the weekly to talk about what I just talked about, the ostrich effect, where you just put your head in the sand and you, you know, wah, 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 totally ignore it. Just like when we're little kids, we don't want to hear what mom's saying. Well, that's what we do as adults too with the scale. We don't want to see what that scale's saying, so we avoid it. Can't do it. You just, you know I'm all about the tough love. So what I'm saying to you is get your butt on the scale. If you haven't been on the scale, get your butt on the scale. Do it now, do it today. No excuses. We're not waiting until tomorrow. We're not waiting until vacation's over. We're doing it and we're coming up with a plan. That's about it for the weekly. Um, pretty much everything I've said, they're just repeating. And the recipe this week is somewhere. Oh, here it is. Fennel sage pork burgers with provolone and sauteed peppers. Probably not something I would have, but it looks good. Um, I'm not a big fennel fan. And they are seven points each on each plan. I don't know if I've ever seen 96% lean ground pork before. All the pork I've ever seen is much higher than that. But anyway, so that's the menu or recipe. That's the weekly topic. Just face it, guys. Just face that scale. Put all your worries aside and just face it. And you know what the great thing is? No one sees that number except you if you're weighing at home. If you're weighing at a studio, then your guide sees it. But you don't have to share it with anyone. So don't worry about that. Don't be embarrassed because guess what? We all gain. We do. So don't be embarrassed. Don't beat yourself up. Just do what you need to do for yourself. And that is getting on that scale, facing the reality, coming up with a plan and doing this once and for all. We can do it. We can do it together. Can't do it by ourselves. I need help. I do. I need help. I need you guys every single, single, single week. And that's why I come here every single, single, single week. Because I need you, you need me, we can do this together. So that is it. I am going to go start my day. Have a fantastic week. I will see you in my next video. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you did on the scale this week. Let me know too if you're avoiding the scale. If there is anything I can do to help you, shoot me an email. My email address is always in the description box. Um, you know, through my Facebook group, you can message me. Just, I'm here to help you guys because you're here to help me. Have a great one.